Let's do this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. <sighs> um, this is going to be a chatty get ready with me. So if you're interested, then, then keep on watching. So I've been thinking about how to come back to YouTube for a while. I've been overthinking it basically. So YouTube can be quite intimidating, especially lately. Everyone's on YouTube, everyone's making videos, and sometimes you don't really feel like you're adding any value to the internet. So I've just been overthinking the whole YouTube thing, and I've realized I just gotta do it. I just need to upload. If I want to upload, I need to film, edit, and do it. Just do it. So this is why I'm here. The boy and I are going on a date, so I figured, you know what, let me get my makeup done. I've been looking dusty crusty all week, so let me do my makeup and do something with myself before we go out. So, I just came back from work and I don't really want to wash my face or do anything too crazy. You know, because I'm going to pile on a bunch of makeup and I'm going to wash it out in a few hours. So, I'm going to use these Avena wipes and just take away all this extra oil on my face. And then, we're just going to get started. I've gone through like a bit of a traumatic experience lately. And I'm not going to go into too many detail about what exactly happened. Y'all know how I am. But, I am going to sort of touch base on... The lesson learned, the things that I've learned throughout this entire process. And one of them is healthy boundaries, okay? This is basically my key word, words, for the year. Healthy boundaries. Um, right now, if you see that my eyebrows are a little red, it's because I plucked them a little bit. You know, gotta get the shape together. Um, if you want a quick little background on my eyebrows, they are microbladed. Technically, it's called nano powder brows. Love them. This is my second year doing them, and I think I'll do them forever. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I've gone through an experience recently that forced me to grow. I talked about it recently, just a little bit, not really on Instagram. But yeah, so what I've learned is healthy boundaries. People will take and take and take from you, and the more you give, the more they will take. And then they will say that you're not giving them enough. You know, you could literally lay flat on the floor for someone to walk all over you. And they will say you're not flat enough. You have to protect yourself. You have to define certain boundaries that you don't want people to cross. You don't want people in your bubble. It's healthy to do that. It's okay to say no to people. It's okay to protect your peace. Protecting your peace is so important. What should I do now? It is hard to do this and talk at the same time because I feel like I'm not going to put on my makeup, I'm just going to talk. But then I should put on my makeup because the boy's waiting on me. So let's get this together, okay Jen? You have to stand your ground. No one will protect your peace like you will. You have to sort of put yourself first. It sounds selfish in a way, but who's going to take care of you at the end of the day, you know? Who's going to care for you, for yourself, like you can? What I've, what I've gone through really forced me to grow in a sense that it was, it was hard. It was, I was really hurt by the people that hurt me. But you don't die from a broken heart, you know? I had to learn that. So I think I got to a point where I've sort of reached my limit and I just didn't know what to do. And you know what I did? I went to therapy. I had no shame in the game. I went to therapy because I didn't want this whole experience to change me, to change who I am. I'm using my primer, by the way. This primer is by Il Maquillage. I really, really love the packaging. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I went to therapy. I did not want this experience to change where I am. I didn't want to be an angry person. I didn't want to hate people. So I did that so that I could find my inner peace. And then now we're moving forward. And you know what? I feel like I'm a better person because of what happened. It's hard for you to think about the benefit of something negative while you're living it but then looking back you can say wow i've made it i've survived i've learned i've grown next so this is where i am and i'm, I'm actually in a really happy place right now i found my peace and i'm just not gonna let people fuck with me K 
Okay, moving on to foundation. I am using one of my favorite foundation at the moment. It is the Makeup Forever one. Uh, I, to be honest, I've been loving this foundation for a long time. I will put all the products that I use in the description below, but this is what the foundation looks like. I just love how it just gets me to look so flawless. Woo! I got it all over my shirt. Oh, no, Jen. Jen, what have you done, Jen? Oh no, my shirt is dirty now. Speaking of a better me, oh, I look crazy right now. You know how there is like this ugly part of doing makeup? Like, once you do your makeup, you just have to realize that you gotta get over this ugly stage. Like, <laughs> look at me right now. <laughs> Moving on to me being a better me. So, I don't know if it's because I'm turning 30 next year but a fire has been lit under my butt so i'm like so motivated in terms of what i want to do things i want to achieve where do i want to be next year etc etc because i'm old and i can't be wasting time if i don't do some of the things that i want to do now while i have the energy at least that's how i'm thinking about it then when am i going to do it when i'm old and i have kids and i'm tired and bitter <laughs> i don't know like i gotta like figure some things out now and also just like for me i want to be the better me that i can be the best me that i can be you know what i mean so what i've been doing is just doing just that just like youtube like i've been in my head trying to figure out how to be the best me possible when i should just do it and lately i've just been trying to do it look at the concealer for my concealer i'm also using another makeup forever one I like this one it's not too bright it's not like a crazy highlight popping type concealer it's just for like I could use this every day if I wanted to wear makeup every day but I don't do that I've been more focused and taking care of me so I've been working out and eating better and you know what I realized the other day that I've been working out for a month straight which doesn't seem like a big accomplishment but to me it is because I'm so inconsistent with everything everything in life it's not just youtube y'all but yes i made a goal i made a plan and i started going to the gym every single day well i'm lying but it started with six times a week and then i'm gone down to five times and this week i've gone four times but you know what it's okay what i realized is just that i just need to do it and not take too many days off because then once you take too many days off i feel like you fall off a little bit and my thing is to not do that so i've been going to the gym sort of consistently and I've been drinking more water, I've been planning my meals, which I've never used to do before, but it's actually pretty beneficial to do that because you it, it prevents you from going crazy. You know, once you get hungry, whew, it's over. It's already too late. <laughs> if you get hungry and you don't have something healthy to eat, it's too late. You're going to eat whatever comes in sight. At least that's how it is for me. Comment down below, let me know if you like this, because then I could say I want to eat clean all week, but as soon as the hunger hits, and I'm not ready it's over okay so let me do my contour because I feel like I'm scaring some of you guys at this point and I don't know I'm scaring myself too so for my contour I'm using the elf palette I've been using this thing for like five years okay like I need I need I need to get something else because it's not cute like you guys are looking for some nice makeup tutorials and I'm using the same thing over and over and I don't know. I guess as an influencer, you gotta you gotta switch things up. And sometimes I don't want to. I like what I like. And if something works for me and something works for me quickly, like I can just sort of pop this on and I know the color works, then I don't want to change it. Actually, I'm, I'm lying. I do. And moving on to what I was saying. Yeah, so I've been working out. I've been drinking a ton of water. Okay. So we all want nice skin. We all want long hair. We all want healthy hair. We all want all of these things. And people will ask me, what do you do for your hair? What product do you use? Da, 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 da. And especially now that I'm on Instagram stories all the time, people notice that my skin is like looking good. <laughs> Thank you. And I will tell y'all, um, you guys know I'm super honest. And I will tell people, listen, I use this for my skin, but the main thing that cleared out my skin is drinking water. And then, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear anything that has to do with being healthy. You want to you want to hear products. You want to hear what's the quick fix versus listen, drink some water, boo boo. You can do it. 
And that's what I've been doing. I've been drinking a lot of water. So I get, because I've been working out and eating well, so doing the whole package, I've been drinking a ton of water. So sometimes I get like a gallon a day, not all the time, but on average, I feel like I get two and a half liters of water every day. And wow, the difference it's been making in my skin, it's ridiculous. And also, I've been more consistent with my skin routine. I have to say that. I've just been more consistent with taking care of myself in general. But the main thing that I notice is that my hair is not as dry and my skin is just, not that I don't get breakouts, but my skin is just, it just has this natural glow to it, which I'm not against. I'm not against at all. Let's just put it that way. Ooh, I am messing up my nose right now. I'm giving myself some Michael Jackson nose and that's not what I want to do. I got to focus. Focus, Jen. All right, so what we talked about so far is taking care of your mind, taking care of your body, and your soul. So it's important to take care of yourself, you guys. Like, my mom's in town, and, and when she's in town, I go to church with her. And I'm going to be honest, I don't go when she's not here. Lord, forgive me. So I've been going to church with my mom every morning, every morning, every Sunday, and you know what it's been worried on me and that's also what helped me through some tough times oh i should tell you i'm using the il maquillage setting powder okay yeah so that's what helped me through some tough times is just taking care of my mind and my soul <sighs> going to church with my mom has been really helpful and you don't realize what you need sometimes like we think we can take care of everything ourselves especially us women we're just such strong creatures but sometimes you need help and you have to know when to reach out for it whether it's just talking to Jesus or you know whatever you believe in or just talking to somebody or just spending some time alone figuring your shit out like whatever it is that you need to do you just gotta do it Okay, so for my eyes, I think we're done for the face. Like, we're not doing something, we're not going too crazy. This is good. I'm happy with this. So for my eyes, I am going to be using the Jackie Ina palette. Yeah, everyone and their mamas has it. It's just, it's so pretty. It's so Jackie. So we'll use, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're probably going to do something simple. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. I need to stop. I need to stop with simple looks. Maybe I want to do something a little bit more dramatic. You know what? We'll do dramatic. So I do want to update you guys on my hair. Okay, so you know what? Let's just fast forward to this eye look because I don't want to talk and focus at the same time. Okay, so ready? There it is. Okay, Jen. Okay. I don't even recognize your girl. What is this? What you doing, boo boo? Ooh. Oh. If you don't make noises when you do your makeup, then you're doing it right. Okay, so I slightly mess up my mascara, but. We're just going to pretend it never happened. <laughs> All right. So, yes, I do want to get into my hair to give you guys a hair update because it's been a while since we talked about hair. And last time we really talked about my natural hair, things were not looking good. Sorry, I am making a total mess. Um, I just want to do my lips, though. So I'm using the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. I will never break up with this thing. I don't care what comes out. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. But I love it. <laughs> I really do. On top of that, I'll be using NYX Liquid Lipstick. This color is Brooklyn Thorn. Like it. Love it. It's like a neutral thing, okay? Yeah, so my natural hair has been doing very well. I think especially since I've been drinking a lot of water, it's been helping because I haven't been taking care of my hair. I have to be honest with you. I haven't washed my hair in over a month. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta keep it 100 with you. And you're probably like, well, that doesn't make sense, Jen. You have dandruff. You've been complaining about it. How how does that happen? Well, sis, it's because I've been drinking my water. Huh? 
See, I told, I told you, I told you, you don't want to listen to me. Hmm. How are we feeling? How are we liking this look, y'all? It's a little daring for me. I mean, I'm literally going like down the street to dinner and I look like this. Yeah, I haven't washed my hair in a month and that's because I can get away with it. And to be honest, sometimes you just gotta give your hair a break. I've been doing a lot of styling for Instagram and just YouTube. I guess I just haven't been uploading them on YouTube. But anyways, we're not gonna talk about that. They're coming. They're coming into the YouTube world, okay? So I've been doing a ton of um, styling with my hair and I was like, you know what, I need to give my hair a break. But I, di I didn't want to braid my hair, which I'm still considering. I don't know what I want to do with it. I'm going to New York. Woo, your girl's going to New York. Ah! So I'm going to New York next, in two weeks. Oh my God, in two weeks, I need to get ready. Anyways, I'm going to New York in two weeks and I didn't want to get my hair braided because I don't know how I want to have my hair in New York. I haven't decided it yet. So if you have any ideas, let me know. So I want to go to New York and I just haven't done anything with my hair. So I've just been sort of keeping it on standby just in case I want to braid it or maybe I don't. Um, so yeah, my hair is just, that's my excuse actually, you know, because I could have washed it. At the very least, I could have washed my hair, but I didn't, whatever. Don't judge me. Um, so yeah, my hair has just been chilling. And I haven't had any issues with dandruff, which is crazy because I had bad dandruff for years. Like it was horrible at some point, like especially when I, if I spent a week without washing my hair, it was just flakes everywhere. It was on my clothes, everywhere. And now it's, it's, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it's gone. Drink your water. So yeah, my hair is a little crazy. So I'm going to take it out of this bin. Okay. Just to show you, this is for real 4C hair, okay? This is what real 4C looks like. Don't let this Instagrammers fool you. Hmm. Okay, so, hair update. Um, my sides are doing so much better, okay? This is one of the best look for my edges in a while. And I have really thin edges. They're fragile. After what happened in February, they were gone. But they're coming back, and I'm pretty happy with this. This side is still my worst side, but it's always been my worst side. But there's like this spot right there, I feel, that's really not filling in. At least it's like taking its time. It's weird. You can really see it right there. There's, there's no hair. There's no hair right here. Like, I don't know what's going on with it, but it's okay. But overall, overall, we're not, we're not angry. You know, we're, we're okay with it. Now, y'all remember the ball spot I had? I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. So, this is the ball spot, y'all. Look! Look how long! Oh my god! <laughs> yes, Jesus! Oh, well, dear. You guys, I was so distressed when I found out I had that ball spot. You remember, I was in tears. I couldn't stop crying. Y'all, all I could think about is my hair never growing back. And it was right in the front of my head. Like, how was I supposed to deal with it? <sighs> Anyways, we're just, we're in a better place. I did have another ball spot in the back of my head, which I didn't share with anybody. Um, I found out a little bit later that I had it. Where is it? I don't know if I can even find it because my hair is so matted right now. See if I can find it. It's hard to find because it blends in with the rest of my hair now, and that's also grown back. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell, but it used to be here, and I have a bit of new growth. So this is my hair growing. Can you tell? Okay. Right there. This is, this is like a little new growth going on right here. Other than that, my hair is doing pretty good. Right now, I think I'm just gonna moisturize it a little bit with some water, put some, put a moisturizer in, and then we'll go out for dinner. And then you know what, tonight, when I come back home, I gotta give my hair some love. This weekend, I have to give my, house, my hair some love. It's been over a month. And the worst is I, I've been leaving my hair out like this. I know better.
we're looking good. There's not much I can do to revive my hair right now, so I'm not going to pretend to. Um, maybe I'll brush my edges a little bit. Y'all, this brush cost me $26, okay? And if you don't watch my IG stories, you don't know. <laughs> but it will always hurt me that I paid $26 for this brush, okay? That's all I'm going to say. That's all. Okay. I think we're good. I could do my edges. Do we want to do our edges? Okay, let's do our edges. Loki lately I've been loving the just leaving my hair out, letting it do its thing. Sometimes we overstyle our hair and we don't need to. We don't need to do all that to it, you know? There we go. That look cute. Am I ready for my day? Ooh. Very simple. Cute. Very simple. <laughs> look at my eyes. Not that bad. I think it's because I don't wear bold eyeshadow like that very often. Although lately I've really been like into it. This is a look. This is a vibe. We like. We love. My shirt is dirty. <gasps> I have another spot on there. No. Oh my god. I have makeup all over me. I just got this sweater too. What is this? What are those? Um, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. <laughs> I enjoy talking to y'all. I'm going to edit this tomorrow and have it up Sunday. If it's up Sunday, leave me a nice comment below, okay? Don't play with me. Leave me a nice comment below because it would have meant that I stayed up all night tonight to edit it, perfected it tomorrow, Saturday, and then had it up on Sunday. I don't understand how many videos I have sitting in a hard drive that I never uploaded. Like, this alone, it's a crime. Like, I do all of these filming and I don't upload any of it. What is wrong with me? On that note, I'm gonna get up out of here. Maybe I'll share a little bit of my date with y'all. Mm -hmm. But yes, I will see you when I see you. Hopefully it's very soon. Give me a little motivation below so that I I do it. I can do this. Okay, 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 okay. And now, we're going to leave on a nice note because we are protecting our spirit. We are fueling our mind. Remember, oh, another thing I've been doing, which I didn't mention, I've been reading a lot of books. I've been reading a lot of books. I share about it on Instagram, usually my stories. But yes, I read a lot of books. I protect my peace. And that's it. That's how you flourish, girl. Don't let people stress you out. Hmm. Let them stress themselves out. If you notice, people that stress you out, they're unhappy themselves. Like, you can't save everybody, and you can't let them bring you down either. Okay, bye, girl. Bye!